you don't need to have a research background to get involved. I never did research as an undergraduate, and yet I jumped at the opportunity to do it as a first and second year here at BU. We have a lot of different opportunities, a lot of different aspects of dentistry that go down to the cellular level. I was more in the clinical level, and you can even do the public health level. One thing that makes us very different than other dental schools is that we have a very strong research component. Certainly we do very, very good research in biomaterials, different types of filling materials that will eventually be used on our patients, but also we do work in stem cells, in pancreatic cancer, molecular and cell biology, the relationship between oral and systemic health. This is certainly things that are not only moving oral health care, but health care in general forward. Research drives the discovery of new knowledge. The students at the Boston University School of Dental Medicine have this ability now to participate in this discovery of new knowledge. And this really allows them to understand how new knowledge is generated and in fact to partake in this extremely exciting experience. The researchers are not cloistered in research silos. They actually teach in the classroom, they interact with our students, they provide the newest up-to-date science to our students, they encourage critical thinking, they encourage questioning, they encourage new ideas. I worked with Dr. Maria Kukurzinska in the Department of Molecular and Cell Biology. I would work with her, I would show her my results, I would adjust my experiments based on her feedback. It was a very integrated approach and I felt, you know, that I was right there with her in the lab and then I was contributing. I wasn't just a student, you know, mingling. I was actually a student contributing to the lab's work. It's an interaction of collegiality. This is an interaction where mentors and students are really on the same level. Um, because when you strive to discover something new, it really doesn't matter if one is advanced in their professional status uh, versus a student. So students really feel a part of a group. I was doing research in Dr. Giordano's lab in biomaterials, and I submitted my abstract for my research to be accepted to the American Academy of Dental Research meeting in Washington, D.C. And it actually got accepted, so I was really excited. We are here at Boston University, a great urban research university. So what it allows us to do is to not only do the research within the dental school itself, but also to do research that's in collaboration with the other schools of the medical campus, the School of Medicine, the School of Public Health, but also the other schools that are on the Charles River campus, such as the College of Engineering, the College of Arts and Sciences. So a lot of our researchers are doing collaborative studies with these other entities within the university university and as a result our students also can participate in this. It is a great opportunity for them.